There's currently 10 million Parkinson's patients worldwide, and that number continues to double every 20 years. But the biggest problem that we're facing is no matter where you are in the globe, the average wait time is about one to two years. And if you're located in St. John's, Newfoundland, like we are today, that wait time currently exceeds four years to see somebody for a diagnosis. Pregnaclin aims to improve the care for neurological patients by introducing technology to better improve the care practices, increase efficiency, and access to rural and remote patients as well. I grew up in Summerside, PEI, surrounded by a wonderful and loving family, and at a young age, lost my cousin to a tragic car accident. It was incredibly hard on my family, but while everybody was grieving the loss of my cousin, few seemed to notice my grandfather as he was slipping through the cracks. I ended up finding him after he had taken his own life. So by the age of 14, I was diagnosed with PTSD. And instead of letting that get me down, I ended up using it as fuel to better understand the brain. That's when I became passionate about the neurospace and went in to take a biology psychology degree. One day when I was giving a presentation on the work I was doing, I ended up meeting Gord, my co-founder, who had just recently been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Gore was actually involved in a clinical trial. He was able to experience the systems that were in place, and I understood the disease and what symptoms needed to be tracked. We were able to put that knowledge really together to start to sketch out our first system that could make an impact in the Parkinson's disease space. We created PRIMS as a visionary idea of how we could do these rural assessments and to reduce the wait times. If we could have these placed in the local facility, we could improve the patient experience. We were nervous in the beginning to put the idea that we had out on the table because we didn't want it to be seen as not good enough or not ready, but we received so much positive feedback from people that inspired me to realize that just putting your idea out there can inspire people in ways that maybe we didn't even realize. After I gave my very first pitch to the public eye, I had a little girl tell her mom she wanted to be just like the purple hair scientist when she grew up. Since then, I've been able to create this really special connection with this young girl and help her pursue her career in sciences and be able to really be that mentor. And she's like the little sister I've never had, which I love. It's time to not only search for a cure in Parkinson's disease, but better understand and help the patients who are already suffering with this condition. I want to be able to improve the pathway for Parkinson's patients and those living with other neurological conditions so that they can get the care that they deserve. It's time to improve the way that neurological care is happening across the globe.